<clears throat> well, in all of the many months that I have not posted, uh, quite a bit has indeed gone on. I've just been lazy. Um, last, I'm now 11 months on testosterone. Last week, I went to the courthouse to start uh, filling up paperwork and whatnot for name changes. So that's going to take a while, and it's going to be kind of annoying, but, you know, hopefully at least it'll... I don't think it's going to get done before the next semester of school starts, but it'll at least be close, and I'll get my new ID, and people will stop looking at me funny when they ask to see my ID, and they're like, what? I don't get it. Yeah. Um, Alright. Um, in Indiana's laws are really weird about name changes. In order to do it, you have to go to the courthouse and filing fees and whatever. And then you have to advertise uh, once a week for three weeks in a local newspaper. And then after that, uh, you have to wait 30 days and then you can go back and set a court date. So yesterday was actually the first day that it was posted. I haven't picked up a paper, but I'm assuming it's there. Um, so that's, I've dropped about 200 on that so far, um, and that should be my only charges other than, um, like, papers saying, hey, this is my name now. Um, that doesn't make any sense. I'm reading my notes and they're confusing me because I wrote them like a week ago. I'm really fast on getting on these updates. Okay, um, well... <laughs> Yeah, next month, actually a day before my one year woohoo on testosterone, <laughs> I get to have my first ever pap smear. Who's excited about that? This guy. Um, but I'm um, currently, I've been on the same doses of tea for quite a while. Uh, I've always been taking the 200 milligrams. Um, um, and then, so I'm still taking that once you see uh, every week now. Um, uh, the last blood work I had done in uh, January, December, something like that, so it's been around six months ago. Uh, my T level was like 1600, so um, that was much more than I expected. I kind of didn't accept it, um, expect it to be so high quite so soon, because that was like six months after I started. Um, yeah. <laughs> Which it kind of explains uh, the the hair growth, I think. Uh, of course, my dad was ridiculously hairy as well, so like you can tell I've got a little bit going on there. I'm just gonna go ahead and flash everyone, but I'm not gonna bind her, so don't look at me funny. But um, my chest hair or my stomach hair is like pretty hardcore, you know. I'm pretty excited about that, and uh, yeah, I like the hair. Um, let's see. Yeah, I did calculations the other day as to um, how much money I've spent in total in like the year that I've started my physical transition, including uh, doctor's bills and blood work and tea and counseling and all this shit. And I've dropped about two grand. <laughs> so I was like, wow, I did not realize I'd quite spent that much. I knew it was a plot. I, I knew it cost like 500 to even get started on it between blood work and shit. Damn. I, I'm i also, I'm just kind of behooved that I've spent two grand in a year. Let alone that I've spent it on trans stuff. It's kind of fucking ridiculous. Especially since I haven't had a job since I got started. So that's exciting. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. The other day after I um, went to the doctor and counseling got my new T-script. I was bored, and I went to the Dollar Theater and watched Seventeen again, which is really amazing. <laughs> like, of course it's not any, uh, like, woohoo film, but for a, for a crappy, like, teen flick, it's pretty decent. Tom Lennon is amazing in it. Matthew Perry oh, and Michelle Trachtenberg are amazing. And then, that one chick, I don't remember her name. And Zac Efron... Like, he's a decent actor, and his clothes are fucking hot in that film. I'm just saying, like, he's got the leather, and whatever. I wanted his clothes, and I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Um, so, oh, I bought my first Packer, like, last week, and I didn't get the harness for it, because I'm a cheap ass. Um, so, I, I generally switch between briefs and boxer briefs. 
So since I don't have a harness, I just wear it with the briefs. It's way more awkward than I thought it was going to be because I understand not now with so many people uh, castrate their packers because on the packers the the testicles are not where they should be. They're way, they're much closer to the penis than they need to be, and it ends up your bulge looking twice as big as it should. It's kind of annoying, and I got the small. It's a three and a half, so it's kind of annoying. Um, but even before I got that, um, uh, I mean, I've, of course, been using the guy restroom for, like, he, since I started, uh, transitioning. Um, but I found my first, uh, restroom that the stall didn't have a door on it. Um, which I thought was kind of exciting, you know? Um, but, like, nobody came in, it wasn't even a big deal, but I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, as far as, like, pissing goes, I've been using... I mean, I haven't, I've got a regular packer, it's not like a pissing one. But, um, taken, I don't feel like reaching for it, but it's just a medicine spoon. Um, which, I've not really used it out much, but I've been using it around the house. Um, seems to work pretty well. Cost me like two dollars, and I can pee standing up. I mean, it's still kind of a, like, I do it with my, with my, my pants, like, not, like, necessarily at my knees, but down a little bit. Because I'm not quite, like, I have a couple times just, like, stuck it through, like, my zipper, but, oh my god. That is some dysphoria right there. Because I, like, I know that, like, it, the urine's gonna come out the end of that medicine spoon, but still, I'm trying to pee with my pants up. And I'm just thinking that I'm gonna wet myself, and it's, uh, it, it takes a lot for just to let it go. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, but, um, apart from that, um, uh, that's pretty much, uh, an update on, like, transition things, as far as, like, physical and whatnot. Um, but, recently, um, our pride group at school, our GSA, if you will, um, I was recently elected the treasurer, so I'm pretty excited about that, get my exact board position in. And also, I've been, uh, volunteering with the... Uh, the city that I'm living in during school year, uh, the city's uh, Gay Straight Alliance, <laughs> which mainly I love going to because I love the older queens there. They're just, everything's a dirty joke, and oh my god, I love those guys so much, it's ridiculous. But, um, I've been working pretty exclusively, I mean not exclusively, um, pretty exhaustively, I guess, um, with them for the past uh, couple months. So, they needed a new board member, and they asked me, and so now I'm officially their board member, as of, like, three weeks ago. So, I mean, if nothing else, like, I'm gonna... Uh, that's gonna look good on a resume, you know? So, um, I'm a fan. Uh, let's see. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we had the, uh, Evansville City Pride Picnic. Um, which I thought was a pretty big deal. I mean, there were, like, a hundred people there... And, I mean, I know that's not big, but for the city, it's... The, I wouldn't have expected as many gay people as there are there. Like, it's not a huge gay scene, but it's it's big enough. You know, it, it, it does what it needs to. Um, and then I went to Louisville Pride in Kentucky. Oh my god. There are 500 plus, like, maybe up to 1,000 people there. It's... Oh, now that, that, was, that was much more of an experience. But, uh, pretty much, uh, I went for the eye candy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> at least you'll get some style, style tips from there, and just going, huh, it's a combination I didn't, I didn't think of before, that's, I'm gonna try that out. And I got, uh, the greatest, ah, oh, fuck, it's dirty, um, the greatest plaid shirt the other day. It's like the big checks, you know, like the lumberjack plaid, and it's this bright blue, so... It's uh, it's really masculine and it's really lumberjack, but it's also really faggy at the same time. Maybe it's just because I'm wearing it, so it instantly becomes faggy. But I don't know. <laughs> I I'm definitely a fan of lumberjack attire. I've I've joked that that my boyfriend is indeed a lumberjack. He also wears a lot of plaid, and he's quite um. Let's say Harry. <laughs> and uh, I, I joke that he's my bear, and he calls me his cub, which uh, I definitely enjoy. 